leads me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you thanks, mighty God, for what you have done, mighty God. Oh, God. As we go into prayer now, we're going to put have one prayer request here named Patrick Slander. Um, sal for salvation. So we're going to pray for today's service and we're going to pray for um, Pat Patricia Salad. Sullivan, Sullivan, for salvation. I'm going to um, pray for this service for the rest of the day. So well, let, let us all go in prayer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we give you glory, we give you the honor, we give you the praise, mighty God. There is none like you this morning, mighty God. None to compare unto you, mighty God. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks, mighty God, to, that you have brought us here safely, Lord Jesus, even wake us up this morning, oh God, in our right mind, mighty God, that we can stand before your present one more time, Lord Jesus, to give you the glory and honor that do it unto your name, mighty God. Lord Jesus, as we put today's service before in your mighty hand, mighty God, we ask of you, Lord Jesus, that you will take full control, mighty God. Lord Jesus, even the moderator right now, mighty God, I pray, dear God, that you will touch him, mighty Father God. Lord Jesus, let him speak, oh God Almighty God, what you have laid upon his heart, mighty Father Jesus. I pray, mighty Father God. Lord Jesus, I pray, dear God, that the musician will play skillfully to Lord Jesus, unto you, Lord Jesus, and not unto man, mighty Father God. Lord Jesus, we pray mighty father god for the oh god the ushers them to lord jesus mighty father god we put them before you lord jesus because lord jesus all of us have to look to you oh god for for guidance mighty god in whatsoever we do mighty father god lord jesus we put oh god the the singers them before you lord jesus mighty god we put oh god the people them that stand in the pew, oh god before you to lord jesus oh god the musician, mighty God, each and every one, mighty God, we put into your mighty hand this morning, oh God, that you will take full control, Lord, just of today's service, mighty God, through each and every individual, mighty God, that will pass it to be it, mighty Father Jesus. Mighty God, as we put, oh God, almighty God, Patricia, mighty God, into your mighty hand right now, mighty God, that needs salvation, mighty Father Jesus. We pray, dear God, almighty Father Jesus, that you will, oh God, just process her, mighty Father God, even right now, mighty Father Jesus, because you know it, the heart of man, mighty God, even, oh God Almighty God, that you, oh God, will baptize her with the gift of the Holy Spirit, mighty God, and she will take on your name in water, but is a mighty father jesus mighty god we just want to give you the glory and honor that do it unto your name this day lord jesus let your perfect will be done in jesus name we pray amen thank you lord let all the people say praise the lord, praise the lord. hallelujah give god the glory and thanks thank great things he have done hallelujah as i leave this song with you it name My, my, all right, <laughs> please carry us a song, please. Where's that song? Everybody's song.
come on we're not just singing lift your praise but we want to lift those praises to the lord this morning hallelujah come on let's just lift our hands everybody everywhere and just worship our god we want to lift those praises we want to send up some high sounding praises to the lord this morning let's just worship him hallelujah 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 oh we love you jesus we praise and we magnify your great name don't like you jesus not to be compared with you oh god we thank you god for today one more day one more day god you didn't have to make us live nothing good god we have done to deserve this lord but because of your love your mercies why we're not consumed your compassion fail it not hallelujah we thank you god for today hallelujah praise god let me just greet you all in the mighty name of jesus our soon coming king praise god hallelujah you know because of the mass sometimes we can't even see the face so good we pass our friends i don't know about you but i pass a lot of my friends and don't even know them hallelujah i, I went to the place i think it was uh thursday there about in kingston and i was purchasing something and i saw somebody walk past i never know that it was somebody from my same neighborhood never even know the person but when the lady asked me which one of the stuff i wanted you know some of them have like heisening on it and some plain thing yeah that's what i was buying and when i told the lady what i wanted and all of a sudden i see the person come and say oh your voice gave you away and that was when i knew who the person was you know boy i tell you this covid thing yes man jesus i just want it just go in a man so we can just go back to a normal life again man rev bless you bishop good to see you sir praise god you know but there are some people who them can't hide even the mass some little thing was give away but most of the time you pass your friend them and you don't even know who they are so i'm so happy today to see you and you know I can identify some of the people, but I see, like, especially some of, I would imagine, visitors. You know what I mean? You might be coming for the first, second, or even third time. I want to say to you today, God richly bless you. My sister, bless you. Bless you, my sister. Bless you, all of my other sisters, them. And my brother, God, my brothers, God bless you. And we're here to worship God. Amen? Praise God. I am a warrior. Christian warrior with me weapon in a me right hand. I am a warrior, a Christian warrior with me weapon in a me right hand. A Christian warrior with me weapon in a me right hand. I am a warrior, a Christian warrior.
Praise God. You feel like a warrior and a conqueror? Praise God. God bless you. And even if you're here, you don't feel that way. You're in the right place at the right time. God bless you. You may be seated. Let me just ask Bishop to come. And he's going to be greeting all our visitors and our saints alike. God bless you, sir. Amen. Oh, can we praise the Lord, everybody? Oh. Come on, we praise the Lord. Come on, can we give him a clap offering right now? Put your hands together and give the Lord a clap offering of praise. Amen, amen, amen. What a great God. So very, very good to see those that are out this morning. I greet you. And when I say out, I mean out in the tabernacle. I greet you all in the wonderful, uh, precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We recognize, and it is getting worse. We recognize, we see exactly what is happening, amen, in our land when this whole thing broke out. Amen. How things were. We were doing very well here in Jamaica. And though it had its impact, the incidents, the cases were very low and you know, we kind of still pushed and pressed after a while and we came out. But now the things are really spiking and folks are becoming more concerned. Amen. Amen. And so in the context of that, to see you here, amen, it's a great, great, great feeling just to have those that are here being here. And I greet you specially in the name of the lord jesus amen put your hands together saints of god this is for your brother and your sister who braved it and you have come out amen in the tabernacle today the lord bless you amen the singers and the musicians and then the the songsters and the, the the ushers you folks don't know and we have said it before but we cannot say it enough because, brethren, when you leave at 10.30 today, these folks are going to be here for the next service. Those folks, that look at the, the, I believe the very same thing applies to the media, amen, team. They are going to be here for the next service. And so we'll get a break. They will get none. And so we appreciate you all. We appreciate the musicians. We appreciate the singers. Amen. We appreciate the media team. We appreciate the sound team. We appreciate the ushers. Praise God. Deacon, I wonder if when the next service starts, we have other stories. We're going to rotate it among us. Don't worry. Deacon, else, we're going to rotate it. So if we want to stay, we good. Amen. But if not... We're going to have it rotating. But it's just so good. I greet Minister Bailey. I greet Minister Nelson in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. It's good to see all of us. And let me just tune in now to those that are with us online, to the saints of God. Amen. All over here at home, wherever you are, we greet you specially also in the wonderful name of Jesus. You have been joining us amen sunday after sunday i believe this morning service is not even being streamed live but i know that you will pick it up once it is posted later i am going to be talking to sister kerry very shortly because i having seen some things maybe we are going to have to make further adjustments sister kerry but we will be speaking later or tomorrow but i greet every one of you saints of the most high god that have joined us from home in the wonderful name of jesus to the faith apostolic ministries family spread across the length and breadth of this world and you're tuned in can i just say how much we appreciate you and i greet you in jesus name god is a good god and then to all the visitors that have joined us online we want to say God richly bless you. Thank you for making it Faith Chapel of the Faith Apostolic Ministries. And if you have not yet given your heart and your life to Almighty God, then today is a good day. Somewhere during the worship, somewhere during the praise and the thanksgiving, 
find it in your heart to surrender to the living God. And then I bring my attention back into the tabernacle. Are there any? You're a visitor. You're not a member of this church, but you're a visitor. And you decided that you were going to come out today and be with us in the tabernacle. Let me ask you just to just stand up so that we can see you. We want to, if there are any visitors here, we want to recognize you. We want you to know that we appreciate. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Look, we are delighted. We feel honored to have you all that are here today. We feel honored to have you in our midst. And for a number of reasons, we say that. But just to let you know that we appreciate you. We appreciate you so much. And we say thank you and God bless you for making it Faith Chapel of the Faith Apostolic Ministries this morning. Can I ask the saints to stand up with our visitors? Amen, amen, amen. Now, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Sister Dennis. Sister Karen. You're going to leave your seat, Sister Karen, and you're going to give a, a, head, a elbow greeting to the visitor right here. Sister Dennis, you're going to give an elbow, a greeting, just using the elbow, what the protocol allows us. And you're going to do that. Sister Rose, right in front of you, that visitor, you're going to give that elbow greeting to the sister in front of you. And when you do that and you get back to your seat, there's one more. Where's the other visitor? No, man. Sister Karen is going to go to her. Sister Dennis is going to go to her. Where? Ah. Ah, ah, who am I going to ask? Sister, you know, I, I'm working on it. I am working on it, my sister. You're right behind her. You're going to come right up and you're going to give her that elbow greeting. Yes. And after we do that, there's an old chorus. It says, I'm riding with Jesus on the hallelujah train i'm singing i'm shouting on the hallelujah train i will not stop at the station for heaven is my destination and as we sing yeah we're gonna sing and the, the, the visitors will feel welcome and the saints we're just gonna glorify god and thank him for what he has placed in our hearts and in our souls in the wonderful wonderful precious name of Jesus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God. So we, we, we did that, we did, we did it already? I did not see. Praise God, praise God. Sister Grizzle, I greet you in the wonderful, wonderful, precious name of Jesus. Good to have you. Good to have you, Mother Grizzle. Sister Daly is not here this morning. I greet her in her absence. In the wonderful name of Jesus, amen, amen. Sister Sophia, it will never leave my head again. And I'm going to ask you, Sister Sonia, you, Sister Sophia, you step around and you're going to give an elbow greeting to our visitor. Yes, yeah, Sister Rose, so I'm going to watch because I didn't say. Sister Dennis to our visitor here. Sister Karen to our visitor here. Amen. Sister Short, I greet you. In Jesus' name, Sister Francis, beside, I greet you. Sister Duncan, I have your book, and you can have it today in the wonderful name of Jesus. God bless you. Come on, we sing and glorify God. Everybody, 
Praise God. I'm riding with Jesus on the hallelujah yes. train. Yes. I'm singing, I'm shouting on the hallelujah train. Ooh. We're not stopping the station. For heaven is my destination. I'm riding with Jesus. Ooh. Hallelujah train. I'm riding with Jesus on the hallelujah train. My God, yes, shouting on the hallelujah train. I will not stop the station for heaven. Heaven is my destination. I'm riding with Jesus. Hallelujah train. I'm riding with Jesus on the hallelujah train. I'm riding with Jesus oh, on the hallelujah train. My God, with Jesus on the hallelujah train. I'm singing, yes, shouting on the hallelujah train. I will not I will stop, not stop on the station for oh, heaven. Hold on. Hallelujah. Hold on. Praise God. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise God. Somebody praise the Lord. Now, let me tell you. Yes, we are not allowed to be very close to each other. And following the protocols, we can be the distance that we are, but the mask doesn't stop our hands. You realize what is happening? It's almost as if the mask stops our feet from moving around. We don't, we can move. And look here, you, you see, I call you in the front. Look here, you're not bouncing up into anybody. You understand? So don't make this thing cramp your style because I know how we worship in this place. We have already reduced the numbers so that we have more freedom. We can keep our distance and still lift our feet. You know that? We can keep our distance and still put our hands together. We don't have nobody right in front of us or right beside. We can shout and, and, and it don't affect anybody. So don't make COVID cramp our worship style. Can I encourage somebody? We can still worship. We can still shout loud and magnify God. We can still be Pentecostal Deacon Nelson and it won't take away anything. Amen in terms of breaching any COVID protocol. So if we're riding with Jesus, come with us, show it. Look at Brother Bailey. Look at Brother Daly. Look at Brother Nelson. It don't have to cramp our style. So we are going to cramp COVID with the worship that we know and the way that we know how to worship. And for a song like this, I'm riding with Jesus. We can just, just make sure say so nothing to anybody's face and keep your distance and worship God. Singers, are you ready? Glory to God. Oh yes, I'm shouting on the hallelujah Nathan, he wrote my name. 
Oh! 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, what a hallelujah. Yes, I when we reach a beautiful collecting our tithes our offering and I think today is mission Sunday right am I right alright so we have another offering it's called missions offering hope you don't forget that one praise God hallelujah thank you Jesus praise God and we're going to be asking the praise team to minister for us while we collect our offering sister Angie would you just ask God we just ask Sister Angie to bless her. We bless you, we glorify you, we magnify you. We multiply your offering. And I pray, God, you bless it, you multiply. Use it, God, to further your kingdom. In your name I pray, amen. Praise God. And as the ushers are moving out, amen, the last week Sunday, we indicated that we wanted to start a 
program to take a special offering. A saint just asked a few minutes ago how and who, to whom do they give it. If you could just put it in an envelope and write on, on the envelope, camera, just write camera, we will know that that special offering is for the camera, okay? So just, if you don't have an envelope, just ask the usher, and you're going to write on the envelope, camera, and that will be sufficient. We will know exactly how to treat with that. And of course, the ushers again, I've put the box for those who might uh, be inclined, and you can, the building fund box is here, and you are free to contribute as you feel, wet, feel led and as you are able. God bless you as the team sings in Jesus' name. Can we just worship the Lord this morning, everyone? Hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy of all praise and glory, and we exalt you this morning, for there is none other God but you, Jesus. And so we lift your name on high. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we lift our hands and magnify the great God. Come on, we lift our hands and magnify Jesus some more. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. You know, God is a good God. We can't say it enough. Deacon Shane, we, we cannot say it enough that our God is awesome. Praise God. And I pray we all have it in our hearts to let that issue from our beings every day that God is good. And declare it in a way that the psalmist declare it that our God is good yes and we just whatever it is that is happening to us it, it, it will be so good for us in the midst of our happenings and situations to declare that God is good I wonder if we can just shout it from our lips from our hearts right now after the count of three and just declare it into the atmosphere. It's coming from deep within. God is good. After three, two, three. God is good. Two, three. God is good. Oh, hallelujah. He's a good God. He's great. And he is greatly to be praised. Just wanted to leave two quick uh, word, notice, uh, reminder, whatever, wherever they fall. One, coming from the ushers, 
in relation. They have books still. All you need to do is touch base with them and they will have your copy for you. And in relation to the book, for those that have had purchased online at Amazon, I am making a request to you, to all the online purchasers, those that went on Amazon. It is very important. It's important to me that you go back online at Amazon, back to the link where that the book is, and that section that asks for a review, just click on it, brethren, and leave a little review of the book there. And if, you, if it can be a positive review, that would be appreciated. But it, it, you have to leave a review. I'm seeking for a hundred and odd reviews, and the folks that have purchased are more than that. And I'm asking very importantly that you leave a review of that book that you purchase online at Amazon and do it very very quickly I am appealing to you I am making that very very special request and I ask you please to do it and to do it quickly the Lord bless you richly secondly I would like to meet with brother Chambers Brother Kevin Chambers, it is very important if you're not here and you're watching online, I need to meet with you urgently. And I might use the occasion here to remind anyone that might not realize that we have only one person here that is in charge of the facilities whether it is the drum with the water, the baptismal pool with the water, the benches, the chairs, sorry, the pot, any of the facilities that we have taken your funds and have purchased. We have a facilities officer, which is Brother Gary Gordon. Nobody else. And I would like to meet with Brother Gordon and brother chambers to make it absolutely clear that nobody else except brother gary gordon so just in case brother chambers don't get this and any see and see him please convey the message that you know brother daly is trying desperately to get in touch with him just to put things in order amen and I open it to NSC just in case you see him before he gets the, you know, him, he's not around now, so he might not hear. And I, it's very important that I meet with him very, very soon, himself and Brother Gary Gordon. And then thirdly, we have been going through Bible study and we have been looking at the Word. And I acknowledge and recognize the calls that we have been getting and the questions that have been coming but then while we are going into the word and we want to be clear that we are not losing the battle because we were not in the word and we therefore don't have a fighting chance because we don't have a sword with which to fight while that is so and folks are asking questions in that regard in February we were on five days of fasting and prayer for most of us it was five days and nights that was like six months ago I feel brethren that we should be as a church given all that is happening with the COVID and or staying away, it is helping some, but it is hurting others. And here is what we are going to do. In this month of September, we're going to go on some days as a church. 
We're not going to go on seven. We're not going to go on five. We're going to go on three days. Brothers and sisters. But here, and I'm doing it because I want everybody, every soul, because I know some things that you don't even know that I know. And I know some folks are hurting because of COVID. And I'm not just talking the mental agony and the physical distancing. I'm talking about the spiritual distancing that is happening because folks are because some folks lifeline to heaven is built about being in the tabernacle it ought not to be so but for whatever reason some folks have in an umbilical way have their connection to the tabernacle to get to heaven and not being at the tabernacle is affecting some so here is what we are going to do for all of us three days we close the fasting at six each evening for those three days so it's not going to be day and night save and accept brethren that you feel led to go three days and nights not going to stop you but i leave it open for three days towards the end of September. I'm giving us enough time because I want it to be marinated in our minds because every band member, every single band member must be involved. Every single choir member, praise team member must be in this fast. Every single minister, I am calling a solemn assembly and I am asking every saint, once you have repented, you are baptized, yes, you are, you are filled, you are required to be on fasting these three days. I'll give you the three days very shortly. But it's towards the end of September. It doesn't matter what else you had planned for September. I am asking you kindly, as your pastor, I'm making a special request to change any plans that will stop you from being involved in these three days. Amen? I'm asking that of you. I, I, I'm not throwing it at you, but I'm asking kindly your and all of us as a body, our lives depend on what's going to happen over these three days. During this period, as a church, we are going to be reading together the book of Psalms. Every saint, every choir member, every band member, every leader, everybody. And if we, we are going to throw it out that, for example, Monday, we are going to go through Psalms 1 to 3. Then, brothers and sisters, I am asking if we declare that these are the chapters for the day, then I'm going to ask that if we're at work, if we're at school, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, we're going to read it together. At least for one of the scripture for the day, we're going to set it at a time when everybody can read together at your own home. So that, like, if you normally go to bed 10 o'clock, if, even if it's to read one chapter, we are going to say, church, three chapters for today. But at 10 o'clock, we want everybody to be reading chapter three. You think we can manage that? So that 100% of those from this assembly or whoever else choose to join in amen in terms of our family members overseas or wherever you can but i'm doing this so that all of us can be involved and when we start this every sunday i am going to randomly call on at least two of our young persons to 
come and stand before church and tell us what you got from the chapters that was read. Nothing big. Nothing theological. But I want you to tell the church, Brother Graham, what you got. Even if it's one verse that jumped at you. Understand? And that's what we're going to do. And then, lastly, sorry to take up so much time. Minister, sorry, but I just had to do this. We'll give you your time still. You're going to give a little small overview of what jumped out at you. But everybody, every young person must do it. And then one of the nights, one of the nights, we're going to have a prayer meeting. Not a Zoom prayer meeting, but a prayer meeting in the tabernacle. Not for the entire church, but for every individual 24 years and 25 years and below. So we will have enough space. Brother Michael Paul, you see what I'm saying? For all the young folks. And we're going to spread out in here. And we're going to pray together. And in the midst of the fasting, you go and meet. And I'm going to be here with you. Because I'm not too far from that, really. And together. Together. We're going to knock out COVID-19. And its impact. Before the vaccine comes. Because we're going to find that the real answer is not the vaccine. The answer was always here. And it's not that it has had us down, but I know it is affecting some folks. And we're going to break the back. We're going to break the back of COVID. So when you hear them come with solution and say, vaccine is found and everything is all right. You would have found the answer long before. Yeah, because the answer is really not a substance in terms of a vaccine. The answer is really right relationship with Almighty God. So uh, the, the exact date, we will get very shortly. But budget ourselves for the last part of September. Three days. At least one of those days, 25 and below, we're going to be in the tabernacle praying. And as a church, we're going to read through the book of Psalms together. And nobody for that period is going to be pointed out. No accuser of the brethren is going to stand before God and say, that man don't have a sword. That lady don't have a sword. We're going to all be in the word. And we're going to use the sword together. Amen? So God bless you. Bear it in mind. And we're gearing up to go in the name of the Lord. Let me ask the church to stand at this time. Praise God. It's time for us to hear from heaven again. And God is a great God. Always have a man. Always have an individual to leave a word. To encourage our hearts. And we are very happy this morning for Minister Barnes. Amen. Fine young man. We have heard him before. We know that this is a young man that loves the Lord. And we thank God that he, he has availed himself and has said yes to the call to leave a word with us. So without any further delays, brothers and sisters, saints of the Most High God, visitors that are here, all of us need to hear a simple, a straight, a direct word from heaven. It is my delight, my pleasure at this time to introduce to you Minister Royan Barnes. Please receive him, saints, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. While we're at it, um, Deacon Brian, could you just pray? Good old Warheads Church, most righteous, eternal God. Lord Jesus, you're the one who made this morning possible, mighty God. And so, Lord God, in thanksgiving, we come before you to honor you, even at this time, mighty God. Father, as your man's servant stands between you and your people this morning, mighty God. Jesus, I pray, God, that a door of utterance be opened unto your man's servant right now, Lord Jesus. God Almighty, take control of his mind, of his lips, of his expression right now, Lord Jesus. Speak to the needs of your people, mighty God. And let your will be done this morning, Lord Jesus. And let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I take the time just to greet our Bishop, Bishop Daly, all our deacons and ministers and our wonderful, beautiful congregation, our visitors and friends. I greet you in the mighty and in the matchless name of Jesus. Whilst you're standing, if you have your Bibles, uh, please turn with me to the book of Luke. And we'll be reading from chapter 9, verses, well, from chapter 9, verse 57 over to chapter 10, um, verse 2. So we just read continuously. Praise the Lord. Um, after which we'll read about two passages from, or two verses from Second Timothy, chapter 2, verses 3 to 4. Praise the Lord. So Luke nine praise the lord and it reads thus and it came to pass that as they went in the way a certain man said unto him lord i will follow thee whithersoever thou goest and jesus said unto him foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. And another said, Lord, I will follow thee. But let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Go over to chapter 10. And, and after these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. And we go over to Second Timothy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Second Timothy two three to four. And it reads thus. And the things sorry, Second Timothy two verses three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
really indeed is a privilege to be here. And for that, I'm really giving God thanks. Uh, we see we're, we're reading from the book of Luke, where it's a very familiar scripture to a lot of us. You know, where especially where it speaks about the harvest being ready. And the laborers are few. We see further down in this passage of scripture where the Lord indeed did, did send out the 70 disciples. And they accomplished much. Hallelujah. But the thing is, where I have a concern is prayer to the 70 being sent out. We see some that <laughs> we think would have been interested. Some he called and one man said that he had to go and bury his father. Now in this time, based on what I have read and researched, this was just a typical excuse, just as so many of the times we are called to do things and we give an excuse, or my head is hurting, or we find some way to wiggle out of whatever it is that we need to do, praise the Lord. And I'm saying indeed that the harvest is indeed ready. There are souls to be reaped for the kingdom of God. I think that this is the mission, praise the Lord. I don't think Christ came and died on Calvary's cross for our sins, for my sins, for your sins, for the person that is yet still to be saved. I don't think it was in vain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But I believe that at times we get distracted. At times we get so caught up and we give all the excuses. Hallelujah. It's easy to be here and going in circles, being caught up with all manner of things that has nothing to do with moving forward in Christ. That has nothing to do with reaping the harvest that is waiting. I want to submit humbly to you that your gift and your calling, someone's life is dependent upon it. Not that the Lord can do, cannot do without you. But I think he created each and every one of us with a purpose. For a purpose. Hallelujah. And now is not the time to be given an excuse. Hallelujah. Because some of the times, hallelujah, is as though we are chasing our tails. We get caught up with the gossip. We get caught up with the issues of this life. We get caught up with who is sitting at the front. We get caught up with some trivial things in my view. Hallelujah. We get caught up with so many things outside of focusing on the word and Doing that which we need to do. If we are going to move forward in Christ. I want to submit to you that we are to be committed. We are to be organized. We are to be disciplined. Because this is the very standard by which Satan's kingdom is living up to. You know. I was looking at something, reading, and I heard Pastor with it on the Bible study, and I'm saying, oh, Lord, what a word, because he spoke about diabolos, the word, meaning for the word devil, constantly, like a ball, constantly at you, piercing, constantly, constantly. I believe sometimes we get weary too easily. Hallelujah. The devil is strategizing and is organized. The kingdom of Satan is organized. How much more should we who are, hallelujah, the children of the living God, be organized and disciplined, hallelujah. If you can remember from hallelujah, when Moses went out, when David went out, he set some in 50s and some in 100, and he set captains over them, hallelujah. Meaning that when we are approaching the enemy, hallelujah, we have a plan, hallelujah. We have a strategy in place, and we are listening to the leader's command, hallelujah. So many times we get comfortable with being in the house of God. And it's good to be in the house of God. But I believe that the house of God is just the rendezvous point. The place that we meet and we are strengthened and encouraged. And the, the call, Jesus said, go. We need to go out. And I believe we were on that path, pastor. Hallelujah. 
Remember, we, we had the plan to go into Dwayne Park and other areas. But my question is, were we ready? Were we prepared as a people? Hallelujah. Paul spoke to the Galatians and told them, it's not time for you to be devouring each other. You see, the time is now when we ought to have a mind made up. Hallelujah. That we are going to listen to the instructions that come from our leaders. Pastor doesn't necessarily or should not necessarily be riveting it every day how much the word is important. Hallelujah. You see, once your name by the name of Jesus, hallelujah, you are marked for death. Hallelujah. But the Lord said that he has given us power to tread upon scorpions, to tread upon serpents. Yes, the, the Satan, he is beguiling. And I think Sir Martin lectured and spoke about that. As a serpent, he beguiles, he seeks to mesmerize, and then he comes in and attack. But the thing is, sometimes, for some of us, we are so weak and distracted that Satan doesn't even bother have to go through the mesmerizing phase. We are so exposed and open that he just attacks. I think it's about time that we make up in our minds that I'm going to leave the gossiping behind. You see, he spoke about the works of the flesh. And that only leads to death. And I believe it's high time that we seek to bear good fruit. It speaks about the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians. And the first thing is love. Hallelujah. We must have love. Hallelujah. Not a form of love or a form of godliness. But love as the word speaks about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you see, the thing I like about that passage of scripture that speaks about the fruit of the spirit. Hallelujah. It says that there is no law against such. I can go lawless. I can go all out loving. I can go all out having in goodness. Hallelujah. I can go all out in joy. We don't like it, but we can go all out and endure long suffering. We must go all out. Hallelujah. It's about time we get in line with our purpose and our call. As a good soldier, we ought not to be entangled uh, with the things of this world, with the things of this life. I mark you that I have never seen, hallelujah, a company of soldiers being dispatched from upper camp or whichever defense force. And on their journey to enforce a curfew or to apprehend someone, I've never seen the vehicles pull up. And say, let us make a stop at KFC or let us make a stop by the beach or somewhere. The instruction goes out. And we are going to remain committed to that instruction which was given. We are called to serve. And service is an action of helping or doing work for someone. We are called to serve for the master. For King Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, when the children of Israel were about to invade Jericho, Joshua got the instruction. And he says, we are going to go around the wall for once six days. And on the seventh day, we are going around Seven times. But then there was a plan. There was a strategy. It was not left up to each and every man to do as he pleased. But the armed men, they went ahead. And then you had the priest. And then you had the rear guard. Hallelujah. And so I believe that if one should step out of line... 
and do contrary to that which was required, it would have affected all. We see further in Joshua where they did defeat Jericho. And it was the city was a curse. The Joshua cursed that city. Praise the Lord. However, they went up, I believe, against Ai just after defeating Jericho. And they had to flee. And Joshua went before the Lord and saw the Lord and wondered, What? Because we had just gotten the victory, Lord. And the other nations will hear. And they will come up against us. And the Lord said that Israel has taken off the accursed thing. Now, it was not all of Israel that took off the accursed thing. It took just one man. Hallelujah. Achan. And so his house was taken. And the Lord said that all his belongings... And all his household had to be destroyed. If you look at the scripture, it did not single out Achan. It said the children of Israel. And you may believe that you falling out of line will not affect the body. But we all will have to pay the consequence even just for one falling out of line. I am humbly, humbly submitting to us. Let us get in line, hallelujah. Get in line which, in, in that which, hallelujah, is set before us. Pastor has just declared that we should be going on fasting and prayer. Let us get in line, hallelujah. We want to see the results, yes. But let us get in line with the instruction, hallelujah. You see, there's a thing, a term that is used. A spirit decor. Hallelujah. And I believe it's used in the army. It's used in Jamaica Fire Brigade in training. And it speaks about the capacity of a, of a group's members to maintain belief in an institution or goal, particularly in the face of hardship and opposition. In short, one for all, all for one. It means that if I see my brother or sister falling, it's not for me to criticize. It's not for me to cast down. It's not for me to try to reach into heaven, but pushing down someone at the same time. Hands in hands, we all have to make it together. I have to make up in my mind that hey, if, I, if I see you slipping, I'm going to do all that I can to ensure that you get up to the mark. Because if I alone get up to the mark, hallelujah, I need your help. Hallelujah. The hand alone can function. The hand is not required to do the job of the eye. But it's the entire body being in unison, being in unity, on one accord, pressing towards the mark of the high calling. Hallelujah. You see, this is a spiritual battle. Hallelujah, we are in war. And we have to adorn our mind as such. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, in the army, you have a platoon or a group of soldiers marching. And the commander says, he gives an instruction. Hallelujah, praise God. And whatever instruction comes down, they must abide. Hallelujah. And so I said, so there's a standstill. And the commander says, by the center. And he gives an instruction and says, quick march. And in unison, hand in hand, feet in feet. All in unison, moving forward. And if he says left wheel, the entire platoon moves to the left. If he says right wheel, the entire platoon moves to the right. If he says halt, everyone stops. If he says about turn, they move in the opposite direction. What am I saying? It's about time we submit to the instructions with which we are given. We are not fighting our own battles. Hallelujah. Yes, we have individual battles that we fight on a daily basis. But as the body of Christ, hallelujah, we all need to be united. 
We all need to be on one accord. We all need to listen to the instruction by our leader. The harvest is indeed ready. But if we are not prepared, if we are not on one accord, if we are not in unison, the devil will have us at his will, laughing at us, mocking us, and we'll wonder why. I'm imploring us as a body this morning. Let us get it together. The one said I had to go back. Hallelujah to tell that, oh, I'll be leaving. And the Lord Jesus said, no man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. It sounds like a harsh thing, but you have to set your eyes on the prize. Hallelujah. Set your eyes on the prize. Hallelujah. Because it's forward. Forward ever. Forward ever. Forward ever. For this is Jehovah's will. For us to press forward. Hallelujah. And that is how a thousand will fall by your side. And ten thousand. Uh, when we are in unity. That's how the enemy is defeated. Hallelujah. He said he will set our feet up upon a rock. We fear God. And he established our ways. Hallelujah. Some of the times we operate as though we... Have no fear or reverence for God. But let us get it right. In the book of Job, he spoke about a creature, the Leviathan, and he gave all the description and says, this is a beast that is most feared. You would be afraid of it. But then when it comes on to me, God, you approach me as though you have no fear. Yet it is I that created that beast which you do fear. Let us get it right in our minds and realign our minds. Because God is to be feared. God is to be reverenced. Hallelujah. God is to be worshipped in spirit and in truth. Comes what may. I know we're going through a time. Through the season with COVID and all the distractions. But I think it's just a time for us to get it right. A time for us to get it together. So many of us, including myself, there was a time when I would say, Lord, the work have me away and I'd still fight and made a sacrifice. And now we have so much time on our hands, yet still we fail to take up the opportunity to spend a little more time with God, to have a right relationship with God. We are so distracted and distracted and confused and busybody with other men's matters. Let us get it right. Let us get it right because someone's life is dependent on us getting it right. Souls to be saved are dependent on us Getting it right. I've had the privilege, if you may, of being in the community of Marvel in, on several occasions. And you would be amazed at the love that is there between persons who are not saved. You see a young lady, not that I'm endorsing it, but you see a young lady not saved, maybe not dressed according to our standards. We would probably walk past such a one without thinking about it twice. And I've observed and seen how they deal with each other. And what am I saying? I'm saying that the harvest is ready. Such a one just need the word, hallelujah. Such a one just need some direction, hallelujah. Let us get it together. Because after this, after COVID, we are not to be caught on our back feet. Hallelujah. Our back foot. We are not to be caught off guard. We are to be in preparation mode right now. So at the next call, and then the Lord says, come up higher. He'll be able to find a man. He'll be able to find 70 that he can say, go. Hallelujah. Go in this direction. 
Go in that direction. Hallelujah. For there are souls to be saved. They are souls to be saved. And there are some, some among us, some even watching online. And I want to say to you that there are challenges in this life. There are many challenges as a child of God. And I'm not telling you that it's going to be all a smooth ride all along the journey. But the journey will be worth it. Because Jesus Christ, he came and died so that you and I might have life and have it more abundantly. It might not seem that way now. Hallelujah. But we are storing up treasures in heaven. The word implores us, hallelujah, to set our affections on things above and not on things on this earth. It's easy to get caught up with the system of this world pushing you in a certain direction. But if you have this word, you're able to plant your feet in God and say, God, I'm only moving if you say move. I'm only moving to the left if you say move to the left. Hallelujah. And just as how in the secular, we see education as a very important thing. And, and even the chief of us sinners, the very unsaved, know that education is a good thing. And they send their children to school, whether it be in the primary or secondary or tertiary institution. And mark you, in any one of these institutions, there are challenges. There are fellow pupils that you will meet who will cast offense. There are lecturers and teachers and various things that you will encounter. But yet still, you choose to go on at the end of the day to say, yes, I have achieved this. I have gotten my degree. I have gotten my bachelor's or diploma or master's or doctorate or whatever it may be. And if we are that patient to endure hardness in the secular life, how much more should we, as children of the Most High God, endure hardness, hallelujah, just to make it on the other side of this life, just to help someone in, just to encourage someone in. Yes, there are challenges in this life. Serving God, there are challenges. Hallelujah, but I serve a God who with him all things are possible. He says he neither leave me nor forsake me. Hallelujah. He says the young lion do lack and suffer hunger. But those that fear the Lord shall not be in want of any good thing. Hallelujah. David said, I have been old. I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor is seed begging bread. It will be worth it. It will be worth it. It will be worth it after all. Hallelujah. Yes, we want to be caught up to meet him in the air. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It does say that. When there are trials, when there are temptations, we are to count it all joy. Hallelujah. And so, today I just want to say to us, in spite of the challenges, in spite of the difficulties, let us, as the body of Christ, get it together. Get it together in love. Do not look at the history of our brothers and sisters and be critical and cast judgment. God can transform and change the chiefest of sinners. He implored us to love even our very enemies. How much more ought we to love each other? The greatest commandment, he said that, it is to love your neighbor as yourself. Who is your neighbor? 
It's your brother who is struggling to make it through this day. Who is your neighbor? It's that one that needs to surrender to God. Who is your neighbor? Hallelujah. It's our bishop who at times has challenges too. And we ought to bear him up in prayer. Even so that he can get further directed from the most high God. As how to lead and to direct us. Hallelujah. Let us get it together today. So at the next call, the Lord can say, come. And he can say, go. And we'll be ready. And at that place, ready to go. Not getting ready to go, but ready to go. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. The harvest is ripe, church. The harvest is ripe. Uh, is, there a, is there a man this morning? Is there a woman who needs to make it right before God right now? The altars are open. Do I have a man, a woman? Hallelujah. Jesus. You just want to come to this altar. You need somebody to pray with you. Hallelujah. Ah, Jesus. Could we stand to our feet, everyone? Praise God. Hallelujah. The altars are home at this time. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. You're here this morning and you need prayer. You're struggling with issues, the daily issues of life. The halters are hopeless at this time. Praise God. The word has gone forth, Jesus. I invite you to just look into yourself this morning. Praise God, Jesus. One more time, I make an appeal. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you for coming forward. Praise God. Altar workers. Hallelujah. Could you just step forward? Thank you. Thank you. Maintain a social distance. Hallelujah. Help somebody through. Hallelujah. Jesus. Pray somebody through. Go ahead, singers.
Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, Lord, for your word this morning, mighty God. Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for Lord, even this young lady that came forward this morning, God Almighty. Jesus, minister to our needs one more time, God Almighty, Jesus. God, as we are about to depart from one to another, mighty God, we pray, God, that we'll reflect on your words that would minister here this morning, mighty God. Jesus, we pray, God, that we may go over it over the internet, mighty God. Jesus, continue to work upon our hearts this morning, mighty God. Guide us safely to a different place of abode this morning, God. And let thy will continue to be done in our lives, mighty God. Those who are on their way, journeying to the second service, God. We pray for journey in mercy, mighty God. Have your way this morning continually. In Jesus' name, praise God. Thank you all for coming out, church. Hallelujah. You are dismissed. Praise God. Praise God. Go follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus.